Hey everyone, Phil from Prismic here, back with you to take you deeper into the code that we made for the sample blog built with Prismic and Nux.js. This is a follow-up video to the one that we created for uh, the setup for this blog. Uh, you can follow that video, the link is in the description. Um, uh, and in there, we also talked about uh, some of the concepts that are similar in Prismic and Nuxt, namely the slices and Nuxt.js components. Uh, the reason these are similar is because they're easily maintainable blocks of content for Prismic and blocks of uh, code for Nuxt. And we're going to see how those play well together and explain how you can then uh, remake that's that code and build your own projects from this base project. Okay, so first we'll have a look at the blog again. We've added some extra content, and again, mine was about Man United, so we've added some posts about the Busby Babes and Ali Gunnar Solskjaer. Uh, so we can go in and see we've got the text, the quotes, the images, all the things that we created in our custom types. So if we go into that post custom type, we'll have a quick look again. The, in the slice zone, the text slice, simple rich text field. In the quote, another rich text field, which will correspond to different styling. And an image with caption, okay? And then we can jump over, we'll have a look at one of these posts. We'll have a look at Ali Gunner here. You can see we have the quote, we have the text, we have an instantiation of the image, and again, another instantiation of the text. Uh, another quote, another text. Okay, you get the idea. Repeatable, flexible, easy, maintainable. So we'll jump over to our project files and see how that corresponds to our pages. So we want to look in the post page, the post file, in this case it's called underscore UID. And you can see, uh, what we have to do first is import those slices from the components folder, okay? And then when we have uh, that data, we need to import all our content from Prismic. And we do that with this async data function. Uh, we get the API, we then get the post by its UID from the URL, and then we return that information to the page. We return the document and we return the slices, in this case, that live in post.data.body. We set that as the variable slices. The final thing to pass to our template is those components. We pass those to the template to be used. And the way that you instantiate those components in your template is using the component tags. They look like HTML tags, but they're slightly different. Um, easily usable, but they will call that content from your components folder. So you see what we need to do, now we have the slices information, the slices data from Prismic. We need to loop through that information and get the correct data for the correct slices. So we use a V4 loop. And then inside that V4 loop, we use a V if. So in the template, you see v if slice dot slice type equals text, we then add the text slice. And to pass our data to that component, which you will see in the component folder, to pass that data from that slice, we just add this prop, okay? So the data now for that slice type text will be passed to this component as a prop. You see it's brought in here, props slice, and then just below that, you will see the name text slice, which corresponds to the tag that you have added in your post page. This is how you get that nice HTML looking tag. And then that is passed from the script to the template of the component. We simply have a Prismic rich text UI helper. This is something that we give you in the, uh, the Prismic view kit to easily add text, and then within that field, we have then deeper into the slice, we get the data for slice.primary.text. Give it a little styling, and that's how you do that. So we'll have another look at another one. Uh, the quote, 
same thing, the tag, the prop of slice is passed in. You have the prop here, the name, passed to the different styling for this one. You see, we've passed this text as simply pillion text instead of HTML, slice.primary.quote, which is the name of that content block inside the slice. And then we have given that different styling. So now this is how your quote in the Prismic side corresponds to the nice stylized quote in your project. And one more time, we'll have a look at the last one, the image caption slice. Okay, you can see slice that slice type, image with caption, and then image caption slice, we pass the prop. We go there. Now this one's slightly different because we're passing more than just one piece of information. We're passing the, the caption, we're passing the image, and we're passing so a label which we're using for styling. Okay, so they all come in in the one slice. We then deconstruct them using the created hook and we set them as variables, pass that to the template, uh, add the caption into the rich text as plain from the view kit, and then we add the image to a prismic image field, again from the prismic view kit, and then we pass the slice and bind it to the class field uh, of size. That will dictate the size of the image on the page. So your content creators can choose to have a full width image or a small image, and your code and your web application will deal with that and create it as they would like. So you can then see, we'll have a look at the page again. That's how you get all this sort of information, all style like this from the application from Prismic. So we're going to recreate that and we're going to add our own content. What we're going to do is add a video. So the first thing we'll do is we'll jump to Prismic and we'll add the content to our custom type. Okay, we'll go to post, add slice. We're gonna give it a name, embed, uh, embedded field for videos. We'll add in the description. And then very easily created, if you see in the build mode on the right hand side, you'll see an embed field. We'll drag and drop. We'll just simply call it video. And that will give it also the API ID of video. This is how we will access it. We save that custom type. And now this can be used back in our content section. We're gonna go here to our content section to the Ali Gunnar Solskjaer post and we're going to add the embed slice. We're gonna paste a URL. We're gonna get a video that I have prepared already. It's videos of Ali Gunnar Solskjaer scoring the winning goal in the 1999 Champions League final. We'll publish that. Okay, that's all you need to do on the Prismic side. So if we jump back to our project files, we're going to go back to our post page and what we're going to do is create another V if, just like the previous ones, but where it says slice type, this time we're going to say embed. And then we're gonna call that the video slice. This is what we're gonna give the tag name. Uh, and that's that. You can see we just pass that again as a slice and because we have did the if for the slice type, we're gonna have the correct information. And we will also copy this import. Again, video slice, video slice. Okay, we'll have to send it to the page. Okay, and that's that. That's all you will need to do on this page. So if you save that, hopefully we will see, yeah, we'll see an error because we haven't created the actual component yet that corresponds to that slice. So if we go to the slices folder, we add a new file, we're gonna call it video slice dot view. And just for easiness, we're just going to copy the code from the text slice, copy that in, and 
what we need to do now is get the embed field from the Prismic View Kit, which we can see here. I've got it open. We're going to copy that. And uh, we're just going to paste it here. We can see. Then in the field section, we access the prop. We say slice dot primary dot video. Okay. So if we now save that and jump back over, hopefully if we look at our project, Ali Gunnar Solskjaer. Okay, we've got a little error. What did we forget? Slice.primary.video. Video slice. Uh -huh. Ah, we didn't change the name. That's what we didn't do. So in there, again, we changed this, the name to video slice. Again, as I said, that corresponds to the video slice tag that we added on the post page. So hopefully we refresh this now. Yeah, there we go. We've got our video on the page. So if you have followed this along and you've got your video working, congratulations. You have now successfully recreated the code that we created in our project. You will now be able to create your own slices and components, and you can see how they correspond quite well. If you want to add your own information, easy. You just follow along in our project files and also our documentation for Vue.js, which will show you how to query the different content. It will also show you how to template, all those different things that you might want to add to a slice. And you can follow also also all our documentation on our website on how to model that content that you might want to use in your slices and in your websites. So yeah, great, well done. Uh, thanks for watching and that's it. Yeah, thanks, bye.